Welcome to another episode of I Shake My Head with Lisa and Sam. Hello, friends of the podcast. Hello, everybody. Samantha. Lisa. How you doing on this hotty, sweaty, 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 clammy, 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 clammy day? Well, apparently better than you. Apparently better than you. It's disgusting out. It's too much. No, I think it's great. I think it's this is a this is a last hurrah. It's like you wanted me, you got me. Oh, and goodbye. <laughs> but did we? But did we really want it right now? Yep, we do. Oh, not me. I, I. Well, you know how I feel. You know, I'm ready. You're over I've been it. ready. I'm over it. Right? If I'm not at the beach enjoying it, I don't <laughs> need it in my life right now. I don't need it in my life in September. I uh-huh. feel that that's salt in the wounds. It is a little bit salty in the wounds. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I feel that that's not very nice. I feel it's not very fair. No. I'm just saying. That's I how I feel. That's how I, I feel. Okay. Okay. All right. Fine. Fine. Be like. You know. I don't know if I'm going to appreciate your attitude because I thought maybe you'd be feeling a little empathetic. I think you need to practice your empathy. Right there. And that, the, remember, <laughs> I can see the eyes rolling and I have my new earbuds in so I can hear uh-huh. the, I can, uh-huh. I, you're not hiding any of it well. Yeah. There was no empathy in that. I don't have any for you. So that's okay. Oh, oh, Nice. <laughs> That's what I you saved get. my empathy for people who need it. <laughs> How do you know I don't need a little empathy? <laughs> who needs empathy? I need empathy. Uh-huh. Who's a pretty girl? She's I'm a, a pretty, pretty girl. girl. Still okay. a pretty girl. I'm yeah, still a whatever. really pretty girl. Can I? And I'm going to throw another one. I've DFC'd of this conversation. I can tell. I can tell. Well, guess what? I DFC you lots of times. So <laughs> take that. Yes, I, I know. I double your DFC. I two times it. I triple it. So there. Oh, really? Okay. Well, guess what? I infinity it. So there. So you can't even DFC. Actually, I just took the phrase. You can't even use it. Hang on. Let me use my bomb. Poof. I blew it up. Oh, shit. I think you got me. I think you got me. <laughs> oh, I hate losing to you. You. Oh, yeah. Okay. You want to you wanna have a game of rock, paper, scissors? No, because no one's winning that. Because you lose to Cause that. Because you always I, use the dynamite. Because I'm the champ. Yeah, okay. I am the champ. All right, uh-huh. Samantha, enough of us bickering. <laughs> That's what everyone tunes into every every week, guys. It's real. It's, it's a couple of minutes of, real. oh my God, there you are again. <laughs> it's you again, is it? That's how we roll. That's how there, we roll, good Lord. Samantha. Samantha, um, how's, your, how's your week been? Uh, you know what? It felt very humpy today. Humpy? Yeah, it felt very humpy today. What, what, what? Explain what a humpy week is. What's humpy? Well, it's a humpy Wednesday. Like it's hump yeah. Wednesday. It's right? hump like day. Hump day. Yeah, I was just like, oh, get me through it. Mm. And then the nice weather was nice, and I was like, why am I sitting in here? Ah. Right, feeling a little, feeling a little bit bad for yourself. Feeling like I should be at the beach. Yeah, right. Because it's so nice, but you weren't. Instead, yes. you were inside. And then you know I got I found? stuck in. And then I got stuck in traffic on the way home because there was a mm. big accident over the overpass. I tried to go over to get home, and um, yeah, that was fun. There's your hump day for you. Thirty-five you know what, minutes I, in traffic. <laughs> nice. I kind of agree with your whole hump day thing because I kept feeling today. Every time I would look at my watch, I'm like, oh my god, it's that late already. Like I felt like like I was never crossing anything off my to do list. Oh god, yeah. And you know me, I'm not really a to do lister. No. So by to do list, I mean the one that I don't have, but I have it in my mind, <laughs> but not on paper. That but not list. on paper, yes. But not on paper, mm-hmm. right? Why am I wasting paper on that, right? Right. And I just felt like I was not getting ahead at all today. It was crazy. Such a crazy feeling. I just feel like we should have like official, like somewhere provincially or federally, there needs to be nap time in your well, workday. I don't know. I mean, yeah, for sure. That would be awesome. But I, I know why. I know why I was having my struggles today. It's the 25th anniversary of Princess Diana dying, right? So oh. I've been sad. That is sad. Yeah, they were talking about it on the radio this morning. It's everywhere. It's all, it's all the TikTok. It's all the everything. And I get it, right? It should be. Because, you know, I, she was like, she was the people's princess. Hello. Right? Yes, and I heard on C95, hello, Shauna, hello, Rob, uh, that uh, <laughs> one woman was saying that if Diana knew what her boys, 
that the, her boys were not talking to one another. Mm, she had she, none of it. She would have none of that. She would have none of that. There would be no way that was taking place, right? No. Okay, so listen, though. Okay, so I'm over the sadness, right? It is what okay, it is. But can I just interject? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it interesting, because I just thought of this, is it interesting that Meghan Markle launches her podcast and that interview in the Cut magazine just before Diana's anniversary? Mm. Interesting. Is, an, is anything that Meghan Markle does, do we really think that, that there's anything she does that is not like kind of like totally pre-planned and pre-meditated? I'm beginning to wonder. <laughs> right? I think that, mm, I feel that she comes very well prepared. Yes, I think she does. I don't want to vilify her, but it just seems interesting that it was launched to like a few days before like Diana's yeah, anniversary. All of this, right? Yeah. You know what? I was saying to my boss boss the other day, we were talking about her and I said, you know what? I hope that Meghan Markle does what she says, which is she wants her podcast to show the real her. I want to see the real her. What is the real her? That's right. And I want it to be a good her. I want it to be a good her. Well, I think it will be. I don't think that she has ill intent. I don't know. It's hard to say, right? She, you know, had, you know they do think she's like Yoko Ono. <laughs> she right? broke up the band. Right? She broke up the band. She broke up the band. <laughs> <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> Megan Sparkle, she ain't. <laughs> Megan Sparkle, she ain't. Oh. Oh, dear God. <laughs> Samantha, I feel that you're obsessing about the lottery dream home. I watched a multitude of episodes yesterday uh, and I watch it every time it's on because I love yeah. it dearly. Uh, it's my dream home lottery, my lottery dream home. And so if you one, I love, I love the host. He's delightful, yeah. uh, David. And I just think oh, if that was me, would I pick that house? Oh, would I spend uh, that money? Like, do I have, what kind of dreams do I have? And then I'm I have thinking, no I don't have any money. Why am I watching? This? And then it just makes me sad. <laughs> right. Right. And that's what it's meant to do. It's meant to like, be like, like a knock on the head. Like, hi, wake up, dum dum. Right. You got no dreams. You got no money. You got no beautiful house. I was just Make like, do with what you got and be happy. But then that's, I think that's what all HGTV does and the Food Network, frankly. They just, it's tempting. Don't be it's lumping tempters. the Food Network. Don't lump the Are Food Network. Are you kidding? Mm -mm, they have mm -mm. all this food. Make mm -mm. this food. Do this food. You we'll should do have it. this food. Make and it's food. wonderful and delightful. And then when I even like think about trying to make it, I'm like overwhelmed. Okay, like, but I'm but but you're not going I'm not to make a baker. it anyways. I'm not a shaker. I'm not a nothing. I'm not a fryer. You're not, I'm you're not, not a candlestick maker. <laughs> you're none of those things. You're none, none of, of those, those things. things. You know what else you're not? Let's just shit's about to get real right now. You know what else you're not, Samantha? Oh, I you're, know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You do. I know. You do, right? The I Jays, don't care. Well, yeah, and that's shitty. You suck. <laughs> You suck. You you totally just suck. Well, right? what am the, I not doing, Lisa? <laughs> you're not being a fake fan, right? The Jays are spiraling out of control. There's 30 games left. They're barely hanging on for their dear life. And guess what, friends of the podcast? Fake fan, nowhere to be found. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Like uh, like like crickets. Chirp, 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 or whatever the hell sound they make, right? You uh, like you are you're horrible. I am. Like why? Yeah, this I, year I'm really letting you down. I don't know. I think oh, I've so I've, letting I've you down. Already given up for you when it comes to the Blue Jays. And I never asked you to. So how about you stop that? Maybe, <gasps> maybe you're the problem. I could be. It could be fuck. your negative aura. Yes, that's killing that's it. my yes, beloved my Jays. Immense negative aura about a, a game and a team that I give no shits about. Yeah. But yet, yet, you claimed years ago to be the fake fan. I'm the fake fan if you need me. If you just text uh, me and say, you. I need oh, a little, a little uptick, you should do I that. Have. I shouldn't have to. You I lay be, that you at your be. feet. Oh, yeah, always, right? Just passing the buck, passing the buck, spurling. Yeah, yeah. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Really, Lisa? I would really? do that for you. I would do that for you. <laughs> yes, I would. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. <laughs> Right, right. When you're watching your figure skating in the winter, I'm cheering for them. I don't with you. watch figure skating. Oh, you have been known before to watch figure skating. I only like the dance. Stuff. Yes, I and I'm like there the in stuff. spirit watching the no, dance. No, you're not. With you. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. <laughs> Shut yes, up. I am. 
I am. You know what? Could could in any of the scenarios that you dream up, can I just not look like the villain? <laughs> not when you're the villain. No. I'm not the villain. Not when you're the villain, actually. Oh, God. Right? Could oh, you God. just try for the next 30 days, one month, to just try and care? I will do my utmost. You won't. But you won't. No, but I won't. won't. But, you know, but I'll you say that for the for the listening audience. <laughs> but they know you too. They know you're not going to. Hey, right? hey, listening audience. Hey, friends of the podcast. Why don't you give Lisa some fake fan attention and go, yay, Blue Jays, <laughs> every day on our Facebook page? That would be wonderful. I would like any and all of you to post a Blue Jays post. Go, Lisa, <laughs> go. Go, Blue Jays, go. That's what I want you guys to do so that I don't have to do it. So you can let Sam off the hook. Yes, please. Okay, I'll take the I'll take the cheering wherever. But wherever I can get it. I will recognize this. The Riders won against BC, and how come yeah. I know that? <laughs> I don't know how come you know that actually, because you shouldn't really care about that either. But apparently that I do. Oh, we're you know what? We're fighting this whole episode. <laughs> this episode is brought to you by fighting. <laughs> fighting friends. We're not friends fighting. Who fight. I'm just not friends who fight. I'm just not soaking up your bullshit, Lisa. You're just not participating. Because right. I don't care. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, and this is maybe why I don't watch baseball because people do weird things in the stands. What do you mean? They go, they eat some popcorn, they have a hot dog. No, what? no, because two people got kicked out of a baseball game for having sex. <laughs> See? Which is weird, right? Why are you doing that in public? Why are you having sex in public? Like, was someone on top of someone? Were they in the um, bathroom? Were they in a corner? Were they up high? Were they down low? Like, so, the, the okay, so here. So I watched the video, <laughs> right? Because they showed it. So it oh. didn't, one of two scenarios, okay? Are we, are you want to hear? Sure. One either was, he was behind her. Oh. Or, number two, she, because I couldn't tell, right? Because it was far away. Number two, she was down below him, <laughs> which would not really mean they were having sex. Well, they were enjoying However, some delights. They were doing <laughs> some things that they didn't need to be doing at a public place. No, you should not be doing that in a public place. Should not be doing that in public, right? That is, that's your private business, <laughs> right? It's only for yeah. your private business. But apparently they made, it, adult. they made it everybody else's business. Well, they probably had one too many beers yeah. at, the, at, the, at the stadium and... Hey, baby, you Thought look good. Was... Woo, let's go into the corner. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, then all hell broke oh, loose, Samantha. God. Right? You know what else is kind of weird this week? You know how I randomly I check my uh, spam filter? Yes. On my Yahoo account? Mm -hmm. Okay. So my spam filter this week, can I share with you what it's consisted of? Sure. It's consisted of bathroom accidents, leaky bladders, and messages saying cat poop. Where do they get this stuff from? Are you searching this stuff? Nope. Nor am I having any issues either. Okay. Mm -mm. I don't know why. And then, you know, and then your insurance and stuff like that. Yes. Right? But that, yes. that's very specific and related to the bottom half of your body. It's weird. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, all of a sudden I'll open up, like, I'll just go and check it every now and then. And it'll be like, can't poop. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> well, I don't know. I feel like I can poop. Why are you asking me if I can poop? Who are you asking me if I can poop? Why is it any of your business if I can poop? Why are you talking about my poop? Why are they talking about your poop? Why are they talking about my poop, right? Why Why is my spam email talking about my bathroom habits? Procedures. Yeah. Habits. <laughs> procedures. Why? What is that about? It needs to stop. It's disturbing. Okay, I think I know. Tell me. You're getting old. You think they're just going based on that? Yeah, I think... Based on your age now, yeah. they just assume that you're going to have bathroom accidents, a leaky bladder, and potentially <laughs> constipation. <laughs> and constipation, right? Hey, guys, we learned Lisa's 53 now. <laughs> Apparently. Guess what? She's in her camp poop years. <laughs> right? She's going to have an accident. <laughs> She's going to need a pull Love. up. Right? <laughs> Jesus. Maybe that's the only thing that makes uh, sense, can right? Can we just stop 
with the crazy, like enough with the shaming. Right. You know what? I'm going to ask on Sunday in our in our who's been listening this week. I want everybody. I want people to tell me what is the weirdest thing in their spam filter <laughs> in their spam email, because I want to know if it's as crazy as mine. Oh, God. Right. You know what else is crazy? And I just saw this. So I don't know. I have no frame of reference. I don't know what it's about. I just saw the headline and thought, what the fuck? OK. Uh huh. Winnie the Pooh has become or is becoming a slasher film. What? It features a sledgehammer wielding Winnie and an evil piglet. Interesting. It was on the news. It was on the radio news. It's like the total opposite of what it really is. Do we need to take a little bear who likes honey and doesn't wear pants (laughs) and make him creepier than that? I don't don't think think so. so. Right? Oh like, my god. He has barnyard animals. Yes. As friends. Yes. Now we have to make them killers. Now they're killers. Why are we doing this? Is, Why must we do this? Why must we do this to Winnie the Pooh? I don't know, but Piglet as an evil genius could work though. I don't know. I didn't read enough to find out about the others, but they all are it has something to do with that they go that they become feral. Right. The the <laughs> characters become feral because Christopher Robin is eating too much food or something. I think I read or getting all the food or not giving them the food. Oh, my God. And then they become feral. So and blame then, it on Christopher Robin. I'm just saying, right? Like, like, I thought it was a really harmless story. Winnie the Pooh, like all those quotes, like about I uh, nobody's nobody's closer to my heart than you, Piglet. Like, like all the beautiful quotes that you can find about Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> And now they're making him with a sledgehammer killing things. I think that's, that's what brilliant. life's about. That's what life's about, Samantha. I mean, not that I want to watch it, but it's that would be kind of it's weird. I, I'll give it it's that. It's like there's it's like there's no imagination in Hollywood. The only imagination there is is a slasher movie. Everything is the opposite. Right? I saw an, a commercial for Pinocchio. Really? Do we need to make Pinocchio a movie? Yeah, they're redoing it. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't agree with it. Just saying, oh, my God. Feel. If they redo Pretty in Pink, The Breakfast Club. um, I'll probably start wielding a sledgehammer. Oh, my God. Any of those 80s classic no, John Hughes touch, movies. Don't I'm touch John to Hughes movie. I'm going to lose my shit. Yeah, right. You can't touch a John Hughes movie. It's got to stay. The Gen Xers are coming after you guys if you start remaking this. And there's a lot of us, right? (laughs) There's 69 million of us. We're small but mighty. (laughs) Like if you replace, if you find a today's Judd Nelson uh -uh, (laughs) to be in the Breakfast Club, not going to, not going to work. No. It's just not going to be how it could. It just can't be like that. Oh, my God. And Molly Ringwald. How are you going to find another Molly Ringwald? You can't, right? You, you can't. can't. You can't. You can't. Uh, you need to leave it alone. Oh, my God. That just makes me very, very not happy to know that people are going to start messing with stuff. People are messing with stuff. They're messing with Winnie the Pooh. He's a little bear with no pants. Well, if they're going for the the, the children's classics, the eighties <laughs> movies are up for grabs. They gotta be. They can't be. They can't. They gotta be on the list somewhere. Oh my god! Right? How can we make Pretty in Pink a slasher movie? I don't know. Ducky kills her oh. as a prom. <laughs> like, what do you do? Right? They kill the teacher at detention. Oh. Like that would be a horrible message, right? Because like that already happens in all crazy parts of the world mm-hmm. right? oh my you cannot God. condone violence like that no. it's too much too much too much samantha i know it's too much but okay lisa think of this think of warm oceans or seas and you've got some contraption on your face and you're you're scuba diving no thank do you, you feel no, thank you do you feel peaceful? claustrophobic do you feel- <laughs> claustrophobic actually <laughs> That's snorkeling. Actually, scuba diving is putting yourself into a very tight plastic suit. Still, again, claustrophobic, I feel. Trying to get yourself into this thing. Ungracefully. I don't ever, I don't think, like, like, no, no, like, I don't need to scuba swim. No. It's not scuba swimming. It's scuba diving. 
I don't want to do it. Let's get it straight. I don't want to be there with like like the octopus and the shark. I have no. You know what? I tried snorkeling once, and Ugh. it freaked the me out. I could I don't want not to do, do it. I don't like. I don't like that. I didn't like it. I don't like. I don't like. In the I don't water. like. I don't like seaweed. I don't want yeah. to see. That's enough, right? I don't want to see what's in front of. No, like I don't need to be at one with with the fish. Mm-mm. Oh, that was no. so yeah. No, scuba no. Scuba no. Scuba no. Scuba no. Mm. Oh, Horrible. you know what I did see though was the training they went through for the new Maverick movie. For the new um Tom Top oh, Gun that movie. Be, that would be cool. They speaking of being like in water and having to suck it up buttercup. Yeah. They got immersed in water. They were strapped in. They had to unstrap themselves and get okay. out through a window. I'm like, I would be, I'm sorry, I can't make this movie with I can you see that. Because yeah, I, could, yeah, I can't do I that. I am not being submerged in water, strapped into a seat. Something I can't get out of. Thank you. Right. 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 I, and then again, right, oh should, should we tempt fate like that? I don't think we should. No, because I was just, I was watching, it was like a few minutes and I'm like, I would have freaked out every step. Oh, Samantha, you can't even get your teeth cleaned without freaking out. Oh, God. Yeah, getting my teeth. Yeah, because right? they ruined it for me. The dentist yeah, ruined it Yeah, right. For me. Same thing, right? So you couldn't do that. No, you couldn't do that. So thumbs down to scubing. We're not interested. Sorry, scuba diving. You're scuba for diving. other people. Yeah, you're for other. You're for others, right? <laughs> keep, the, keep the fish in the sea. I don't need to be. I'm not meant to be in the sea. You are not meant to be part of the fish world. I'm not a fish. I'm not a fish. Right. I don't need to swim with them. I don't need to live with them. I'm not part of them. I'm not part of them. You know how um, everybody's talking about COVID again. Right. I mean, we never really stopped talking about it, but it's kind of back in our faces. Right. Uh Yep. COVID, COVID, COVID. Do you know what I've learned that you know what I've noticed something that COVID taught us that Hmm. prior to COVID would never, ever take place? People DFC. They don't fucking care if they put three dollars and twenty five cents on their credit card <laughs> because of COVID. They don't care. They don't care. Right. Right. They just don't care. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. No problem. I just needed that sixty eight cent pen. OK. And how did you want to pay a uh, visa? Uh. <laughs> right. Remember, like you never, ever, ever did that before COVID. No, that's true. You never just charged it. You never you, just well, charged it. You would have carried cash or you would have paid by debit. Yeah. Even debit. Remember, you didn't like to like just do under $5. Even mentally, you just didn't didn't seem right. You, you wouldn't go into the store and just buy a pop on your debit very often. No. No. Because right? it just seemed like, oh, God, that seems like crazy. We are getting away with not carrying cash. Yeah, we are. And that's not good. Mm. Right? We need to still carry some cash. People. We do. Right? I just think it would ne- it would have never happened before. Huh. Okay, but okay, but COVID also has lent to people buying generic brands now, right? Oh. As you go into the grocery store, is it because we're some getting of the cheap? Ge- Why? Are well, we cheaper no, now? because sometimes the generic brands are just as good as like the regular stuff, right? Mm, like I a guess. Hidden Valley Ranch or a sour cream or whatever. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe I'm I'm hesitant and a little reluctant. So apparently. There's five foods that you shouldn't buy as generic brands. Oh, okay. Salad dressing. Mm, I kind of agree. You go with Kraft. No, I think you can have, I think you can find. A you want a no name, you want a no name, like a, like a no, yellow no. labeled salad dressing? I say dressing? that and I go, I, I buy the good stuff. Right. You probably <laughs> buy fancier than Kraft, right? Oh, I'm happy no. with Kraft. You probably like buy fancier. Kraft. Mm-hmm. Right. They say don't buy generic chocolate chips. I think my mother would be agreeing with that because she has oh. used generic chocolate chips in her baking and she's like, they ain't that good. I wonder why. I bet you they don't melt as good. I could see no, a they generic don't. chocolate chip not being as melty. Yeah, they're not. Huh. They don't melt as well. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Number three, condiments. Who's buying no-name ketchup? Nobody. Nobody. It's no like when mustard. you go... No, it's like when you go to the restaurant and they're still using ketchup in the glass bottles and you know that's fake ketchup in there. That's not that's not real ketchup, right? You know, that's just because those bottles are from 1975. True. And you, you're just adding shit to it. That's no. true. No, condiments, mm, like who buys no-name relish? Nobody. Nobody. 
No name mayonnaise? Nobody. Nobody. What I don't know what what else is a condiment? Are you sauce? Big? No, nobody. Nobody. No, right? No, no. You don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, ice cream? No. No, compliments mint chocolate chip is actually really good. Like that what is that the Walmart brand? No, that's like the the independent brand. Mm. No, thank you. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be ice cream snotty. You are being ice cream I'm snotty. being ice cream snotty. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> okay, and then potato chips. No, thank you. I think oh, they are no. right. No, I think that I oh, think okay. I think you shouldn't buy generic chips. Mm-hmm. I don't, think that you get it. what you get. <laughs> yeah, and I don't think that there's that much difference in price. <laughs> Like, really, right? There probably is, but, you know. I don't know. But, mm, no, I think it's like it's like peanut butter, right? It's like craft dinner. You get craft dinner. Yeah, right? that's true. No name. Right? Well, but though, I think Cindy Harder would say that one of the brands Cindy of Harder no would name. Say, yes, she would say. I think it's white cheddar, maybe, or something. Yeah. I can't right? remember. Cindy Harder would definitely, she would be so quick to tell us that. <laughs> yes, she nope, would. there's a white cheddar. I know there is, Cindy. Yes, <laughs> yes. there certainly is, yes, right? Is. I've never tried it, so I shouldn't knock it, but I'm going to knock it a little We're bit. We're going to knock it anyway. We're going to knock it anyway. Yeah. I just, you know what? I feel like when you sit down to a show, uh-huh. And, you know, like, cause Cindy's always telling us fun facts, right? Like yeah, she's always, she's got tons of fun facts. She's Cindy teaching Harder us. Does. And Andrea, uh, Andrea always teaches yes. us fun things. Yeah. I appreciate that about her. These are friends of the podcast people. Definitely. Um, but are we expected to do that? Like, are we expecting that from the shows we watch on TV? Well, it depends what, cha- like, depends what TV you're watching, right? Like well, some shows <laughs> I want to learn stuff on. Yeah. TLC used to be a learning channel. That it used to be called the learning channel Channel. (laughs) now it's my big fat fiance or my seven thousand pound wife or my my 90 day nightmare like my 90 day fiance right like it's like like i like it used to teach you things the learning channel so is it are these different kinds of learnings then lisa garbage learning i mean don't get me wrong i'm not saying it's not entertaining <laughs> but i think that they need to rebrand the title of the channel i know it's like, like it's like the oprah channel right the oprah network it needs to be rebranded it's oprah's not on it if it's not on it it should be something different it should just be a uh, channel regurgitating old oprah shows is not an oprah network it's not the oprah network right no. I agree. But yeah, you're right. TLC is very much an entertainment grabbing, sensational yeah. sensation. Sens- like, like it reminds me of stuff that if you used to read the Enquirer, we'd yes, be the in tabloids. there. The it's tabloids. a tabloid channel, it seems, right? Yeah. Not about superstars, but just about like, like, well, like Dr. Pimple shows. Popper and yeah. like all that sort and of botched. stuff, right? And Botched is another one. Yeah, right? Like there's so many of them. And I mean, even like the Food Network, at least it's still, it's still like doing food it's still doing food yeah still doing food so it's still kind of staying true to what i mean i get it's not quite what it maybe once was but at least it's still doing food well even the food Um, network has gimmicky stuff like um game shows and they do yep for sure everybody's got some some gimmicky things right i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know you know i'm gonna tell you one thing that i do know though what i do know is starting on Saturday mornings in the fall. I'm going to be eating. I'm going to be eating for breakfast a bird in the nest, an egg in the nest. I saw a picture a of it. A bird in the nest. Mm-hmm. The egg in the nest. I saw a picture of it, and it just reminded me how wonderful it is and how much I loved it. Oh, is it? You know, it, it, just an egg in the middle of a piece of bread. A piece. So you take the toad, you take the bread, you uh-huh. butter it. You cut the hole, you crack the egg, and then you flip it over in the frying pan. So it's like it's like a French toast egg. Perfect. <laughs> don't they call that a toad a toad in the hole? Well, I don't call it a toad in the hole because why? Where do you get a toad from out of an egg? I don't egg? know. I don't no. know. I call it a bird in the nest or egg in the nest. I think it's bird in the nest. Maybe I don't know. It's one of them. <laughs> but it's simple. It's so easy to make. It is. And you get a piece of toast. You would like it because you like you like your toast and your br- and your egg. I do. Right? So I think you would like egg in the nest. 
Egg in the nest. Egg in the nest or bird in the nest. I'm not going to think it's a toad, though. <laughs> and I think it's perfection. I think it's total perfection. Breakfast perfection. <sighs> Throw That's a little bacon I... on there and you're good to go. Okay, don't need to change it. Don't go changing it. Why are you oh, changing so... it? Oh, my God. So sorry. Oh, my goodness. Samantha, not everything has to be changed, right? <laughs> okay, listen. <sighs> Let's keep on the vein of food, okay? If you could only bring back two or three of your mother's meals, not including the holiday ones, so not like Thanksgiving or Christmas, uh-huh. what would they be? Um, what would they be? Uh, hmm. What does mom make really well? Well, mom's a really good cook, though. Two or three. Uh, okay, for me, it's probably pork chops with mushroom sauce. Okay. She makes that extremely well. I love that. That's sort of my my go-to meal it's your comfort um, that's my comfort um she does really good uh beef stew oh yeah she does really good beef stew because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. she does the dumplings oh yeah right which is yeah, perfect. the dumplings you always get you dumplings. i've had your mom's beef stew i'll give her that yeah it's really good yeah. and then but not a holiday meal hey eh? not a holiday meal too easy well if i'm gonna mm, can I say what my dad? Can I tell you? Okay, sure. How about dad? Sure. And we can throw in your dad. Okay. Just one, uh, though. Just one. Just dad one. Dad makes really kick ass meatloaf. Okay, so you're bringing the meatloaf? Yeah. The stew. And the pork chops. And the pork chops. Yeah. So I'm bringing from my mom. My mom used to make what she called a garbage, right? But it was like a Hungarian goulash. So <laughs> that one with the macaroni noodles and the stewed tomatoes, you know, that meal? Mm hmm. And the ground beef, I'm bringing that because it's just, it's wonderful. Um, she also used to make a really, really good, uh, everybody else in our family hated it, but me and my mom, it was uh, tuna fish spaghetti. So she would take spaghetti and, and she would take a can of tuna fish with cream of mushroom soup uh-huh. and she'd put a milk in it and she'd mix it up and that would be like the spaghetti, the spaghetti sauce. Uh-huh. And it was like, I'd take that too because it was so, so, so good. And you hate mushrooms. Well, but I don't mind mushroom soup in a can, though. You're allergic to them. Yeah, well, I pick them out because they're big enough. You can sp- spit them out. <laughs> yes, you. Yes, you can. Yes. <laughs> you're a liar. You're I'm not a liar. a liar. Not a liar. Oh not my a liar. God, you're such a liar. Not a liar. <laughs> allergic to mushrooms. Check my medical records. And my third thing, I think, would be my mom used to make. Um, what would be a third thing? She used to make a really good homemade pizza. Ooh, yummy. I think I would take that too. Those would be okay. my three things. Yeah, yeah, so good. So good. That's what I would be bringing back, Samantha. You know what else they're bringing back? What? It's odd. It's it's so odd. There's a show apparently called World Chase Tag. Oh my God, I saw just the end of it the other day. And it apparently... Came out last year, cr- around oh, April-ish, weird. I don't know. It's a pro, it's pro tag for adults and you get paid to play tag. Yeah, but it's kind of like cops and robbers. It's like <laughs> as though, so it's like as though you're like hiding, like you're trying to like avoid being caught for like, for like breaking into the store or something. It's tag, Lisa. It's I don't tag. know what you're talking about. No, because they go, right? And it's like somebody chases them. That's tag. I know, but it's not, but it's an obstacle course that they have to run. Yes, and they do like uh, parkour. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. It's weird. But it reminds me of like cops and robbers, right? Somebody just broke in and now they're trying to get away <laughs> and the cops running after them. That's what it reminds me of. Samantha. But it's, it's, it's advantageous for them to not get caught. Right. Right? Because yeah. you get paid for winning. But why do you want to play tag? I don't know because it's physical. Why did you ever want to play tag? Actually, because now you want to be seen. It? Well, maybe you want to be seen as an adult, an athlete, and maybe this is your way to do it. Maybe, maybe. You know, <sighs> remember, like a long time ago, remember, I just wanted to walk faster. <laughs> so I, I was at work. That. No, I know, but listen, I was at work today, and there was a girl, and we started off at the same time walking, like down a hallway. Uh-huh. She was so far ahead of me by the time she got to the end of the hall. And I'm like, how do you walk that fast? <laughs> she 
her leg, she wasn't really any taller. She wasn't a whole lot. Like she was a little bit skinnier, but not really a whole lot skinnier. Uh-huh. And I'm like, how do you walk that fast? You are, you're, you are so far ahead of me. I can barely see you. <laughs> and I'm like, am I just daydreaming as I walk? Like, am I just living in a dilly dally, la di da world? <laughs> Maybe. Like, I was just, I didn't, then I just thought, I want to walk as fast as her. Well, then you'd have to pick up your feet. I'd have to jog. You'd have to jog. I'm going to have to jog. <laughs> and that seems weird for walking. <laughs> right? It seems like, like I'm going to have to speed walk. I think you should just be okay with the speed you're at, Lisa. But I, I walk like a turtle. You walk like a turtle. I am a slow, 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 slow walker. <laughs> you're a slothy walker. I am a slothy walker. Why am I so slothy when it comes to walking? I get it, right? It's it's a form of movement, which isn't my favorite thing. So maybe I'm always secretly in protest of really? Okay. Well, let me go you, there. Yeah, you might be secretly in protest. Maybe I'm secretly in protest. Maybe I maybe I secretly protest walk. I'm protesting walking. I'm a I'm I am a walk I am a oh right. I must be protesting the walk. Maybe, potentially. Prote- Who protests the walk? I don't know. I protest the walk, apparently, every time I have to get up and walk. It's like in the morning, I get up, right? I do my stuff, take my pills, mm-hmm. right? say hi to Mike, you know, like do whatever in the kitchen, have a shower, get ready for work, right? I go and I'll sit down for a couple minutes in the TV room and watch a couple minutes of news. And then I'm like, okay, I better get ready for work. And I get up and I go to the bedroom and I sit. Mike's <laughs> like, why are you sitting? I'm like, because I always just come and just sit again before I get started again. <laughs> oh, my God. I might be a sloth and not know it. <laughs> you might be an inner sloth. You might have an I inner could- sloth. I might be part sloth. <laughs> I feel I'm part sloth. Oh my god! So or are weird. we just are we just getting old? I don't know. It's hard to say. I don't know. I don't know, Samantha. Oh, uh, you know what I do know though, Lisa. Tell me. Facebook Tuesday didn't let us down. <laughs> Ooh, the people, and it was so random this week, right? I'm just like, <laughs> I just picked some shows. You're like, so, what do you got for this week? I'm like, nothing really, just some nothing shows. Nothing good. <laughs> Just some show, Samantha. Well, apparently, nobody really loved Mork and Mindy. No. Um, the Partridge family was up for grabs. <laughs> Partridge family was up for grabs. Yes. Some people loved everything. I'm not picking anything. Okay. <laughs> there were some of those people. They're all too good. Gotcha. Yes, okay. but they... Okay, and I can understand MASH because if you were a kid of a certain age... It was bedtime. Yeah, it was bedtime and it was an adult show right if we're talking like reality here but who can kick the lovable adorable the love boat just a bunch of monsters it hurt my heart it hurt my heart too really hurt my heart (laughs) you don't kick who kicks captain stubing and and julie and isaac and doc and gopher those people right what did they ever do to be kicked from the i shake my head facebook Nothing. They did it nothing no wrong. But no I do. Sense. I think it was. Was it Chris Morgan who said that she theme? No, she hums or. Oh, or, she hums the theme when she's having a stressful day or day. something. <laughs> yes, the theme to the love boat. Don't you remember? <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I can see that working. Yeah. The right. Love boat. Right. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 I know, I don't know the word. Right? The like, love bone. Because that, like, it brings yeah. you back down. It, just it does, because it's like, down. and your mind on a new romance. <laughs> love, exciting and new. And new. <laughs> Come aboard, we're expecting you. Right? It's, it's like, it's kind of funny. And kind I'm like, of is. I, I totally get it. I totally get it. She could be onto something there. Now, right. they could remake the Love Boat. I think they can remake the 70s shows, just not the 80s shows. Not the 80s shows. Do the 70s shows for sure. Yes. I don't, I'm don't. i not for as sure. invested in the 70s. Yeah. <laughs> 80s, we own those suckers. Leave them yes, alone. Or do. you better consult with us first. <laughs> right? and it I, was a good week. Yeah. And I do want to mention, like, <laughs> Wednesday, Would You Rather, for those of you who are listening and participated, 
I appreciated all of your comments. People were liking today's. They were having a lot of fun. Paging Dr. Gibson. Paging Dr. Gibson. That would be me. <laughs> Dr. Gibson here. How can I help? How can I help? What, what, do you, what, what do you need me to do for you? Uh, I appreciated the fact like, well, if I'd be, if I was doing surgery, I'd only heard one person. If I was going to be a pilot, I would take the whole plane. There could be, there could be a lot of fatal, a lot of people have, a lot of people in trouble. And then Haley, I think it was Haley Sims who said, well, you know, in every movie, the pilot does die. And I'm like, well, that's true. It's true, right? True. Yeah, I go doctor all the way. Yeah, so thank you guys for participating. I really, so we really appreciate it when you guys chime in. So thank you we so do. much. Yeah. And if you're listening to us and you are not part of our Facebook group, you should be because we're fun. Lots of fun. We're fun. So go to I Shake My Head with Lisa and Sam and join the Facebook group. Instagram is I Shake My Head as well. We have Twitter and TikTok, which are both I underscore Shake My Head. So if you want to check out what we're doing on those social media platforms, please join in. Please join um, in. If you actually appreci- posted a new TikTok today. Oh, dear. Okay. No, it's a nice one. It's nice. Thank okay. You. All right. That's good. It's good. <laughs> calm, calm. <laughs> Uh-huh. If you appreciate what you hear, uh, you can go to Patreon, which is patreon.com slash I shake my head for as little as $2 a month. You get the episode early and extra episode every month. And there are no ads in any of that. And just a reminder, you guys to get some I shake my head swag at Threadless, which is I shake my head dot threadless dot com dot com. Samantha, this is something that's been kind of I'm going to say it. It's been um. It's been picking my ass a little. Some of it, I'm sure, is out of ignorance or all of it, perhaps. I don't know. Uh Um, Because it's one of those topics that I just choose to not really want to learn a whole lot more about, but I got issues. You know how how I can be that way, right? Uh What's with NASA? And why do we need to go to the moon? And why do we need to think that people need to go live there? Um, Because we're killing the planet and they need another place for us to go. But you can't live on the moon. It's inhabitable, whatever that word is. Inhabitable. Inhabitable, right? Like like when you come back from the moon to Earth, they say you're like 5,200 degrees. Seems a little warm. <laughs> Jeez. Seems a little hot up there. It's hot up there. <laughs> it's hot in here. Right? Why do we need to go to the moon? What are we learning? What are we learning? Why, why, and why I think do we we're care? learning that we need to find a new planet and, and the moon is probably close enough because we did yeah, get there a couple times. You, it's, not like, it's not like changing apartments. You can't just move the earth, the world, and Maybe. all that we have and put How it do on you the know? moon. How do you Oh, really? One spaceship? What else fitting in there other than the people? <laughs> Right? It seems like a lot of unnecessary trips back and forth. You know that space is, space is the final frontier. You know that from all the Star Trek. And all the Star Trek, right? And all the Star Wars. I don't get space. I don't understand it. Uh, well, I we're don't not, get why. We're not flying around like George Jetson in it, so I wouldn't worry about it quite but yet. But if we're going to go to space, then let's be um, George Jetson. Dun, 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 dun. let's do it like that well we're not going to be cartoons so you know, that'll be the I don't disappointment know, but you want to be you, you want to go to space no i have no desire to go somewhere black yeah right oh look at that there's not even a street light i can't even see oh that's <laughs> fun right back in earth we call that bedtime we like, call it bedtime i don't understand space no neither do i but and I you feel, know what hmm. but man has always wanted to conquer those things that he cannot have yeah, I get that, right? But come on, how much money are we spending on this? Oh, tons. Can't we like just, can't we fix well, our own problems not. here on Earth? We don't live in the States, so we're not. No, we're not, right? Canada, yeah, but I'm sure Canada, we got space arm. We've done something, <laughs> right? We gave him an arm. We gave him an arm. Maybe we'll give him a leg. <laughs> right? We're going to give, we're going to give another piece of something at some point, I'm sure. Right. Probably. I just know it. I just know it. It just seems like a, a like a colossal waste of money. And I get I'm being ignorant totally because I know nothing about space other than that's where like the great gazoo was from. <laughs> right. And like like Elf came from space and Mork came from space. Right. But they wanted to get away from space. So maybe they should look at that. Right? There's they didn't a reason stay why. There, right. <laughs> Elf, Elf wanted to come to Earth. Right. 
I'm just saying, right? Maybe they gotta maybe they gotta double check that. Uh, maybe, possibly. Right? I don't know. I don't know. I shake my head at space. <laughs> right? That's funny. Yeah. Um so something interesting happened this week. And uh it actually involves our friend City Harder. So Uh-oh. Yeah, so loyal friend of the podcast, somebody we used to work with. I saw, I was just flipping through uh, Facebook, and I saw a thing for Joe Coy, right? Our favorite comedian. Uh-huh. We promote him all the time. Not that he needs us, but right? He don't, we always but... promote him. <laughs> we always promote him. Go find, go listen to him. He's on all the stuff all the time, right? Because he's brilliant. Posted, there was a post that she replied to saying he was going to Winnipeg. And I'm like, no way. He's going to Winnipeg. His stand-up show was going to Winnipeg and Edmonton. This was on Monday, right? Uh-huh. Two places. Yep. Two places. So, so what do I do, right? That's not acceptable to me. You're my favorite comedian. And you're and I'm in Saskatoon. I'm not going to either of those two places. So what did I do? I found a little bit emoji of Lisa and Sam. And I made a little picture saying, hey, Joe Coy, you're our favorite comedian. We talk about you all the time on our podcast. We love you. Don't you dare just skip over Saskatoon because it's way better than Winnipeg, blah, blah, blah. And then I've been tweeting it, right? I didn't tell you about it because I know how you are. You're like, oh, my God, we're going to go to jail. Why do you have to do it with him? Right? I'd rather you just do it to people we don't care about. Right? And there would be a million things wrong with what I was doing. And I knew that. Yes. But I, but I didn't care. So I've been doing it. I've been sending him tweets. So he didn't reply back, but better yet, guess what? Mm-hmm. He added a Saskatoon show. Yes, he did. And Update. I'm taking the uh, I'm taking the credit. You're taking the credit. I'm taking all the credit. I think it's because the probably the shows in Edmonton and Winnipeg sold out. Yeah, and then he got and then he saw my tweet saying, yes. "Hi." Right? We're you're going to like it here better. mm mm-hmm. Mhm. Yeah, I'm taking full credit for it. If it's to- there was it's- never a tweet, there maybe would have never been a show. There you go, Lisa. Take all right? the credit. Right? You get more milk with honey or whatever that... What is that? You get a bear with honey or a you bee with honey? You get more bees with honey. Oh, my God. Right? The oily wheel um, gets the squirt or something. I don't know. The squeaky wheel gets the oil or the... Yeah, so I, don't I know. was the squeaky wheel. Uh-huh. Right? And he's coming. He's coming here. Yes, December 9th, which is yeah. way better for him to come here than us to travel to other de- destinations in the winter. Right, right, right. Yes. So we'll take so, it. So, and now what are we starting, Samantha? Operation, any chance you'll come on our show, Joe? No, God. Yep, 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 yep oh. for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. That's where we're headed with this. I don't see Joe Coy playing the this or that game i really don't we don't know what he will play <laughs> we don't know can we just get in touch with him first oh, fine do whatever right. you gotta do right i Thank will you. set it i will say it now i will not be standing outside any fucking hotel with a sign i will not be outside in the snow i will not be camped out in a car- no i will not be doing any of that some of those were our best memories you you can do that on your own. I'll wave from the car. No, well we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Let's just get him on the show first, okay? <laughs> and then maybe he'll be like, "Hey, why don't you just like just like not now you don't have to worry about that. We'll go for lunch, okay? Sounds good, Joe." <laughs> go for lunch. Dude's got to eat. Dude's got to eat, Samantha. <laughs> right? I'm oh just saying. Oh my god, yes, dude's got to eat. Dude's got to eat. Right. Oh my God. That's what I. That's where yes. I'm going with that. So, all dear right. Saskatoon, you're welcome. Yes, you're welcome, Saskatoon. Lisa did all the work for you. I did the legwork. Got him here. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Uh, all right. So she gets first crack, guys. So you know. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I get. Yeah. 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 Sure. Okay. But sure. speaking of new and fun things. Oh, more new we and get, fun. Things? We get Joe Coy in December, and then. You get pizza at Subway. I don't want a pizza at Subway. Actually, I just felt some rage right there. I don't want pizza at Subway. Why is pizza at Subway? Like pizza pizza? Like not on a sub pizza? Like that's ridiculous. What are Subway is the the whole concept is it's in sub. your name. It's Subway. <laughs> right? <laughs> you can't just now all of a sudden become p- and pizza. Okay, but they do carry wraps and bowls and salads. <laughs> breakfast sandwich 
sandwiches and oh my soup. God. You, so, you know, you know like, if you're going to break the madness, if you're going to break tradition, you might as well go pizza. No, stop the madness, right? Just why can't they just do a pizza sub? Why can't the world be happy with a they pizza sub? They have a pizza sub. Yeah. So why can't the world just be happy with that? <laughs> I don't get that. I don't get that, Samantha. Oh my God, that's so funny. <laughs> Two thumbs down to that. I'm 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 vetoing it actually. Oh Just like God. last week, we said no to the Tim Hortons pizza. Yes. I'm saying no to Subway pizza. I just don't know. Like it's gonna be frozen. It's not gonna be it fresh. Is. No. It's not gonna be like I rolled the dough in the back today. Like it's not right. gonna be that. No. No, there's no la 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 la. There's not, like, it's not happening, right? <laughs> la 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 la. That's what I, that's the sound I hear when I think of people making pizza dough. <laughs> Giuseppe, right? give me the tomatoes. Yeah, I right? need like, the just, olive oil. Right? Giuseppe's not working at the subway. No, he's not. Ever. Mm-mm. He's never going to. Oh my God. No, no. Okay. It's not acceptable. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just going to blow your mind again. I'm going to blow oh. it. Far, okay. far, far. Someone is trying it again in Canada. We're getting a new airline called no. Canada Jet Lines. Oh, geez. It's a pair. This is how they're, this is what they're calling themselves. A new all Canadian value focused leisure carrier. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Which is basically serious. It's like old Airbus A320 aircraft. Apparently, what, they got them for really cheap because airlines were going out of business. Right, right. Because <laughs> of COVID, because there was a pandemic and people oh stopped flying. God. Okay, so apparently, they're not doing much right now because they don't have, a, a, I don't know, some stuff didn't go through. So right now, they're only doing Toronto to Calgary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah in calgary okay. to toronto so wow. nothing they're not too splashy yet but aren't we having a horrible like isn't it hor the new there's a new one too is it called what's it called swoop swoop, swoop. I, was thinking, swoop. There I don't it know is. why i thought flare but swoop works i think flare is something someplace too though <laughs> okay so swoop sucks yeah and i can't imagine that canada Jetlines is going to be any better Mm -hmm. no so in a time when all air flying and all airlines suck do you want to go with the one that sucks that you know it's like the devil you know or the devil you don't Do you want to go with the one that that you already know is going to suck or the new one that's going to suck and you're not going to have any clue just how bad (laughs) and i want to know why they need to say all canadian value focused leisure carrier what is value focused am i paying for a water Am I paying? Oh, you're paying for everything. Am I paying to get on you the bet. plane? Am yeah. I paying to get into my seat? Am if I you paying want, to like, put away my bag? Am, yeah. Like, what am I paying like, for? Like, if you wanna, if you wanna, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. You're paying. You're checking off. I'll take two bye byes. All right, that's gonna be seven fifty for two bye byes. I would like a hello and a goodbye. Well, that will be seven, two dollars. Seven fifty. Seven fifty tacked on. Right. <laughs> You want just one? Well, you're better off to get two. One oh is five dollars for one, seven fifty for two, right? Oh, oh I just God. I can't I can't with these people. Like WestJet and Air Canada are barely, barely, barely doing what they're supposed to be doing right now. Right, and it's a nightmare, right? It's such a nightmare. <laughs> Right, it's such a nightmare. Oh, let alone, I just... oh, I want to I, sign me up for the new and improve the new leisurely nightmare. No, oh, that's good. <laughs> that's just fine. Thanks. That's what probably like. Leisure? What is leisure about a value carrier? Makes me, you know what it, it makes me think of, like you know, like when they have those big, like like when like people who are in the army are going on planes overseas and it's just like benches on the side of the yeah. plane that seats that's what i feel it is i feel it's benches <laughs> and then they're gonna give you a parachute right that's what i feel it's all benches we're coming and a parachute. up to calgary folks get right. your parachute ready <laughs> right three two one go <laughs> that's what i feel it is i feel it's benches and parachutes oh my god it totally is totally which is so crazy oh my god and then you know, watch I don't us, want a parachute. Watch us book on it because it's really cheap. Well, right, because then that's where that's where they'd get us. Because it'd be like, oh, thirty five dollars. Mm, okay, oh. I guess I probably could handle a bench and a parachute for thirty five dollars. Sure. Yeah. Sure. How leisurely? How how value focused leisure am I going? Right, right, right. When if it, it that's where they get you, right? So if it's just middle oh. of the road value, mm, 
I'm not that excited. But if it's a big, big dip in price, okay, now now you got me. Oh, my God. Right? Now I'm paying attention to it. I that's, cannot. That's funny, hey? I oh, don't know. I don't Pass. Know. Pass. Okay. But, like, okay, so value, right? Let's talk yeah. value. Yeah. We got value airlines. We want to yes. have value in our, in our, the things that we own. Yeah. Value food. In value food. Do we need to have value in corduroy? Like, do well, we need like, to own corduroy? Is corduroy uh, one of the things that we need to bring back from the seventies and everyone, as you walk down the hallway or wherever you, you are in coming. the mall, <laughs> right. like, are we, are we going there? Like everything uh. else is coming back. Everything else is, what I see redone. is I, I, I've seen corduroy shackets making a comeback. Oh. The oversized corduroy shacket. Yeah. I don't know. Is that a th is that something we should bring back? I don't know. I'm not a fan of corduroy, right? I like, don't love corduroy that way. I'm not I'm not a fan <laughs> of clothing you can hear. I'm not a fan. Right? No, like, neither am I. <laughs> Right? I like my clothing to be quiet. Like I don't like like a, like I don't like like a jacket that like like nope too noisy. That jacket is too noisy, right? Yeah. Or you know like mm, like no no I don't I feel no to corduroy. I feel it should stay in the seventies. Go in the museum, stay there, be appreciated for all the glory that you that you had. Yes. But I don't think we should bring it all back. No. Well, I remember working at Pennington's and I had a pair of corduroys. I had a pair of corduroys too because they were yeah. like all the rage, right? They were all the rage back when we had, they had the MXM line, the fancy. It was like upbeat. the junior hip yeah. plus size line, right? And they had corduroys and I really, really liked them. Yeah. But Until all of a sudden there's no fabric between the thighs the, anymore. Well, and then the, thighs the back of the gone. knees are gone. It's like, it's like a chenille <laughs> sweater, right? Like, <laughs> like, like, right? Like a chenille sweater. Poor, poor, the poor oh. plus size world, right? Like plus size oh. women. And we can talk of this because we, because we sold them, right? Uh -huh. So for the ends of the podcast, such a funny story, right? People love the feel of chenille, which is kind of almost like a brushed corduroy feel. Yes. Right. And plus size women, including us at the time, right? Well, we never, ever had a chenille, but um, <laughs> lots of people did. And all that chenille does is that the fabric just disappears in front of your eyes in in the worst spots in the worst spots as you wear it so any yes. place in your any part of your body that touches said sweater it destroys the the sweater and all of a sudden it, you just and, have like naked spots and the, <laughs> it looks like you it's worn away <laughs> it's not good it's and, and you can't do anything to it you can't revive it you can't do like it's gone it's, it just it's, it's like magic it's just disappeared yeah you're cutting it up and using it as rags oh yeah you can't fake it you can't bring yeah. it back out people know it's not it was horrible and i feel corduroy is similar to that <laughs> it is mm -mm. no disappearing fabric i say no to that oh okay yeah i'm saying no um do you think that we need okay i feel like everything is so complicated right like like let's go back to subway or let's go back to subway for a second subway bringing back bringing a pizza if it's not broken why do we need to fix it why can't people stay in their lane know their role like the rock would say and just do what you do well right like tim hortons do you need to branch off into can't you can't just be happy with donuts that's what you made you all your money now uh -huh. you got to do and a pizza. Subway, you can't just be happy with what you're doing. Now you got to do and a pizza. I'm just saying, it just seems like we're just trying to reinvent things and make things so complicated. Why do we have to do this? I think because when people dream up an idea, they think that they're adding value to what they to their brand, right? Oh, and when you start branching out, you potentially run the risk of muddying the waters of what your brand really is, right? It's like 15 flavors of coffee. Remember when you could just buy a good cup of coffee? <laughs> now you can't because there might be one good one out of 15, but we're making so many that uh, something has to suffer, right? Oh, then don't like Starbucks is horrible. I would like uh, a vanilla oat latte, half steam, half calf 
lots of tea, due to cinnamon right? and the dolce. Like what the fart is that? But they all know what it is. Those little <laughs> ladies, they're just like bang, 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 bang. I'm like, I'm like give me a break. I don't know how they know it's, it. That's, that's gotta not be a, drinking. That's not drinking coffee. No, coffee and that's got to be coffee's coffee. Think of how big that playbook must be to learn. Oh, I couldn't. I wouldn't. That's I'd too be, much. I would lose my. Sh- eh? Yeah, I'd be like, really? You think you need like two pumps? Hold the pump. Take back a pump. I changed my mind. I'll take a pump. Like, really? You need all the pumps? Uh, I'd like I a sprinkle, you but, too, but not too much sprinkle. <laughs> Right? Half, just enough, just I like a knuckle full of cream, just enough of cream, just that my knuckle would fit in it. Like, Half foam. Oh my God. Right? I'd be like spitting in those coffees. Oh my God. The most exciting I would ever get is I would have like some kind of uh, hot coffee with oat milk. Too exciting for me. Yeah, that's it. Like I'm like that boring. I have my tall, naked my tall dark blonde right my tall dark blonde i have or my hot chocolate that's good thanks with no whipped cream no whipped cream extra hot no whipped cream and they always say why x why why extra hot gift shop lady and i'm like because i'm by the time i get around to drinking it it's still a few minutes away and i like to drink right so i already know i've got three stops along the way i'm not drinking it yet so i'd like it extra hot that's my only demand. Oh, God. Yes. Maybe we're getting old and we don't want things to change. Is that Generation generation X? Are we uh, adamantly are we, refusing to, I think we are. to now learn more new shit? I feel we're digging in our heels. We are digging, our- digging in our heels, right? <laughs> want nothing to do with it. Nothing. Oh, okay, but Lisa, I know you've got some. Let's just get I it do. over with. Let's All right, Samantha. With. Guess who's got questions? Lisa's got questions. It's Lisa's Question Corner. All right, Samantha. You ready? Uh Uh-huh. I've got three questions for you this week. Okay. Number one. This goes back to what we were just talking about. Why do buns have to be so complicated? Potato bun, pretzel bun, blah, blah, bun, yucky bun. Why? Because people like different things. Why can't we just have buns? I'm fighting you on this because I happen to like all the buns you just named. I just like just a plain bun, like a normal bun. <laughs> because you're boring. I just like a normal bun, please. Whatever that might be. Because you're boring. All right. Well, I'm just saying they're too complicated with the potato bun and the blah, blah, bun, the yucky bun. They're and just horrible a bun. bun. But they're they're not just a bun. They're different. They, t- they don't taste just like a bun. You don't like a Kaiser? No, too hard, right? Ugh, why? I don't want a crust. bun. It's not hard. I don't want that. I don't want that bun. I don't like its shape. I just want a bun. That's a chica- you're talking. You're thinking about chapa- a chapata, chicata. I don't want. Chipata. I don't want. I hate chapata bread. Chapata bread. Hate, <laughs> hate chapata bread. Hate it. Hate, <laughs> hate it. Hate it so much. All right, we're not going to agree on this. <laughs> no, we're not. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. I disregard I'm... that question. Oh. Number two. Who decided that things should oscillate? I thought about well, that as I was staring thank, at my fan today. Thank God they did. Thank God they do. But I wonder, like, who, who, like how, like how brilliant was that? Well, because they probably were like fanning themselves, and then they thought, I wonder if we could put some palm tree frogs together, right? And, and it can fan them. for us, <laughs> right? They're like, like that's brilliant. Hey, that they figured out how to uh, how to yeah. oscillate things. Yes, I'm, th- I'm thankful for oscillation. Is it oscill? Oscillate, oscillate. I don't I know what it, was it is. Oscillate. I call it oscillate. <laughs> and again, we teach you nothing. Tantini. You probably are shaking your head at the fact that we're using the wrong words. You know Just how sometimes, it, folks. You know, sometimes we it. say we're kind of dumb. <laughs> Speak for <All> right. yourself. <laughs> well, you don't know if it's right or wrong either. Okay, number three. What's uh. the ju- I think you've told me before, but I'm yes. curious about oh it again. Oh my god, why are we talking about this again? What's a chalupa? A chalupa is like, it's like a tortilla with like lots of fun things in it. Like what? It's a chalupa. Like if I order a chalupa, what am I getting? It's like, oh, it's like a stuffed tortilla with like meat and cheese and all like that kind of stuff. long and skinny? Potentially, yes. Hmm. Sort of, kind of. I was just curious. A chalupa. I was just curious. I like the name, a chalupa. I'd chalupa. Like, I'd like two chalupas, please. But you're never going to because you don't eat anything other than a taco. I only like a taco. Or a quesadilla. 
I don't mind a quesadilla, but I like an in the restaurant quesadilla better than a fast food quesadilla for a million reasons, right? Let's make that known. Make that known. That's all I got for you, Samantha. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. So we're going to talk about Tim Hortons again. <coughs> Are we repetitive this week? No, well, they're all different. No, they're I all, feel like because so much different. is happening in the world of food because they're trying to like grab their people. Right. They're trying to pumpkin everything up. Yes. Well, this time they're doing out of the five new fall items that Tim Horton has decided to pump out. One is maple and four are pumpkin. Why is that? Why? Why only one maple? Because I think pumpkin is more it's it's more popular than maple. Maple is a traditional fall food. And it's so uber Canadian. Yeah, but it's so delicious. So dear the world, try maple. Dear the world, suck it up. Right? <laughs> I'm just saying, right? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. I was kind of mad at that though, right? Because to me, it seems like as though there should be equal. Shouldn't just only be about pumpkin. There's other things that people like in the fall too. Maple for one. Oh, see, because I love pumpkin, and I and I know oh. that you poo poo pumpkin on all poo-poo levels, but poo- at some I'm point I'm probably it. gonna have a pumpkin latte Ugh. somewhere, and and my mother does make the best pumpkin muffins, like mm. so soft, so gushy, so delightful. I'll give you like, pumpkin pie. That's it. No, oh, I can't. That's all wait. I'm giving. Mom, mom, you gotta make another batch. The lineup at the at the Starbucks at the hospital has been insane this week because of the pumpkin. Yes. I'm yes. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. No, I'm mad. I'm mad. I want there to be Maple Incorporated. Well, maybe you'll get more excited if they bring something good for Christmas. I don't want to wait till Christmas. Why do I always have to wait till Christmas? Why can't I be part of fall? Because it can't always be about you, Lisa. I feel none of this is about me, Samantha, actually. <laughs> none of it. There's none of fall. Nothing about fall is about me. Except maybe Thanksgiving. Maybe. And Halloween and knows, with the little candy bars. Yeah. And who knows if Thanksgiving will even be about me. Because we have an easy bake oven that I don't think is going to make a turkey. <laughs> unless I start cooking it next week. So... Forgive me for sounding a bit bitter. <laughs> oh my God, that's funny. That's, well, we are about to hit the burr months, as people are oh, calling yeah. them. Starting tomorrow, we're in the September, burr months. September, October, November, November, December. Those are definitely the burr months, eh? The burr months. You know what? But to be honest, like if you're going to think about fall and winter, the burr months are fun. It's the, it, it's the annuary it's the and, it's the annuary months that are brutal. Yeah, it's the months ending in Y. <laughs> why? 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 Yeah. Right? Why January? Why February? <laughs> yeah, those are the two bad months, right? I a little bit of December, uh, but like November is fine. Yeah. And October good. is fine, right? September is good because things turned off things are turning and it's getting chilly and it's yeah. you know, and it's Fallyish and all that kind of but stuff. But you can already feel the fall, like in the morning now. It feels yeah, fall. It's a little right? chilly. It's a little chilly, right? Then but, soon, next soon, then soon. I'm so excited. Soon we'll be carrying our jackets, but not wearing them. Oh God! Right? And then we go into wearing them. <laughs> all the transitions, all the food transitions. Oh, we have oh, we have yes. a big old thing of uh, we have some salads that still need to be eaten. Uh oh! Get down! Get going! Right? We only got till the weekend, right? We only got till only the weekend. Only till the weekend? Hi, it's fall transition. Oh my god. We switch over, right? <laughs> fall transition. Yeah, I mean, if it's this hot, we might extend it another week or two, but... Potentially, mm, yes. We'll see. We'll see what happens, Samantha. All right. Right? We'll see what happens. Do you think... I was thinking about this the other day. So weird. Random, too. Do you think that there's such thing as, like, seasonal animals? Okay. What do you mean by that? Okay, what I mean is, let's say, for example, like the woolly mammoth. Uh-huh. Is the woolly mammoth loved only in the cold months, or do people love him in the spring and summer too? Okay, so the woolly mammoth doesn't exist anymore. I know, but if, but so, if he did. <laughs> the woolly mammoth lived in all seasons, suffered through the summer, and was happier in the winter. Right, so he was a seasonal animal. <laughs> he He probably... Or he or she or they may have enjoyed 
their winter seasons more. Yes. So that's what I'm saying. I feel that. I wonder, yes. are there seasonal animals today, like the polar bear? Yeah. A little more, little more winter than summer? Potentially. Yeah. So I don't know. I was just thinking about that. Who says that animals aren't seasonal? I think they're seasonal animals. I think that... Ugh. Well, what do you mean, ugh? Well, the polar bear is seasonal, but no, he's not. No, animals are not seasonal. Why am I agreeing with you? This is ridiculous. What, what do you mean it's ridiculous? It's ridiculous. Animals are not seasonal. Well, what about all the animals that go into hibernation? Seem that's seasonal different. to me. That's, well, that's seasonal. Okay, but the only the bear hibernates. The, do you see a lot of groundhogs in the winter? Well, no, because they're probably going to be frozen. Yeah, they're they're underneath sleeping too. There's lots of them that go under okay. the ground and go to bed. I can't talk to you about this because I don't think animals are seasonal. I think animals are seasonal. I feel animals might be seasonal. <laughs> oh my god! And all out. All I'm going to get out of this is, Sam, they actually are seasonal. I can see posts <laughs> right? happening now. I think animals are seasonal. I think so. We've oh just never god. experienced it before. Oh, my God. That's all. That's all okay. I'm saying. Okay. Right? Whatever. Mm. I'm choosing to not be wrong or right here. I don't care. I'm choosing to be right. Fine. Okay. okay. Be right. Good. I'm going to be right. I feel I might be. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Okay. Yeah. Um. I read that some I read something that was kind of sad. Oh, okay. But yet and then I thought, huh, I wonder what happened. Um so there's a gentleman named James Franklin uh-huh. who is trying to sell his 2015 Grey Cup ring that right. he won with Edmonton. Right. He got bumped around and then eventually signed with the Rough Riders in 2020, but in 2021 chose not to report to camp to the rough okay. rider camp yeah he decided to retire okay what happens in yours what happens in your football career that you are like i don't need my great cup ring you're so jaded you don't need that damn <laughs> ring i he don't is, know he is an american football he is an american football player well, that's probably part of it he never wanted the ring in the first place he wants right. he wants the super bowl ring so he probably went he probably went back to america didn't want people to know that he was ever in the cfl cuz i have to believe that if you're an american football player uh-huh. you do not feel that you lived up to your goal to your if potential. you land up in the cfl that I think is you make, I think you make the best of it. I think that you do the best. I think you're happy because you have a job and a paycheck. But I don't think that that's where you saw yourself. No problem. I don't think that there's American football players in college going, oh, God, I hope to be a, 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 a Calgary Stampeder one day. I don't think that happens. <laughs> or a Saskatchewan Rough Rider. I don't think so. I don't think that that's no. their goal. No. And I was just like, <laughs> I was just I was reading this and I'm like, you have to hate your career. You have to hate it a lot. To sell off a 2015 Grey Cup ring. And then to not show up. And then not show up for camp right? in 2021. Because he's like, I'm DFCing. I'm he done. DFC'd. I he didn't don't care. care anymore. He was over it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Interesting. So it's like he's trying to wipe up his, wipe out his past career in the you CFL. Betcha. By right? like selling the his, one memento. It's like faking his own death. But he's selling it. He sell it because it's authentic. He's like it's authenticated. There's papers, right. like so it's legit. It's legit. It's a real it's deal. Legit. He just yeah. wants no part of it. No. Interesting. Interesting. But I'm. It didn't say how much he was selling it for, though. Oh, okay. Because now he probably doesn't care. He probably just wants to get rid of it. Well, but no. Uh. Uh-uh, uh. No. Uh-uh. No. 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 Maybe he wants to finally get paid. <laughs> maybe. 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 <laughs> what if he's like. I'll part with it for twenty thousand dollars. Oh, what I don't know what price it is. I have I don't no know. clue. I have no, no clue. idea. But what do you think on the on the market today a twenty fifteen Grey Cup ring is going for? I it's have only no Ed, idea. it's only Edmonton. <laughs> I have no idea. Like I wouldn't think a lot. I don't know. Fifteen. I don't bucks, know. Twenty bucks. No, it's more. It's more than that. <laughs> a thousand There's bucks? jewels. There's jewels in it. No, I bet you ten thousand. Ten thousand? Yeah, maybe that's what it originally was. I don't know what it would. I don't know what the resale value would be. Huh? Yeah, interesting. No idea, Samantha. I don't know, but I'm curious. Huh. I think I might have to dig deeper. <laughs> yeah, do some research. See what it says. <laughs> yes. 
Right? And how is he selling this ring? Is it on eBay? <laughs> is it on Kijiji? Kijiji, <laughs> probably. Where, where are we putting this Facebook this ring? Marketplace? <laughs> It oh could my be. god what if it was on facebook marketplace it could be oh my god interesting it was, somebody stumbled upon it somewhere to be able to print the story yes oh my god that's so right funny. yeah okay. do some research Sorry. Do i'm some... i'm not i'm not i just think it's funny that he's it, it this is a big statement of i don't get not happy shit. with not happy with my life right yeah 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 i agree i didn't like totally. i didn't like this part of me <laughs> i'm just i'm just getting rid of it pretend it never existed right Huh. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting, Samantha. <sighs> well, Lisa, are you ready to learn something? Lisa, it's things you want to know. All right, Lisa, fun facts about the moon. Ooh, okay. Well, because you're just, you know, you're DFCing on the moon, but I, I, need to sh I need to share. Okay, and I've already said I know nothing about it. Okay, well, okay. here you go. Did you know the moon used to look much bigger? Uh, it still just looks the same size to me. It used to be bigger. It is now every year it spins away from us, the Earth, 3.78 centimeters. I'm never going to notice that. I know, but it's spinning away from us. So Good. it wants to get away from us. Good. I want it away too. Okay. okay. <laughs> moon dust smells like gunpowder. Okay. Makes sense. I could yeah. see that. The dirt, moon dirt smells. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> The Glad surface... we went to the moon to find that out. Yes, there you go. The surface temperature reaches boiling point. Yeah, hi. I'm just going to go live there. Yeah. In a pod. In a pod. Yeah. <laughs> you always see the same side of the moon. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh-huh. That's weird. That's weird. Huh. And scientists have discovered moon water. One, There's one cubic meter gets you one liter of water. Wow. I wonder what type of purification that needs to become <laughs> drinkable. Probably quite a bit. Right? Think of the work that takes. Again, I don't understand the whole moon well, thing. And just remember, dirt smells like gunpowder. <laughs> and dirt smells like gunpowder. A few things I did not know, Samantha. Thank you very much for sharing. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's good. That's good. Um, okay, Lisa, what's making you shake your head this week? Samantha, you know how I like to eat my fruit? Oh, God, are we doing this again? Yeah, you know what I've noticed? What? Sometimes if I eat too much of the pineapple, uh -huh. it hurts my tongue. Yeah, because it's acidic, hey? Yeah, so I'm shaking my head at pineapple that hurts my tongue. <laughs> this is cinnamon hearts all over again. Why you got to hurt my tongue? <laughs> right? Dear pineapple, why are you hurting my tongue? Pineapple on a pizza doesn't hurt my tongue, ever. Because <laughs> you're not sucking the life out of it. Oh, sometimes it just hurts my tongue so bad. So that's plain and simple. I've been shaking my head at pineapple that hurts my tongue. Yeah. Oh my I don't God. get it. I don't get it. It's just sore. What about you? What have you been shaking your head at? That you can learn a lesson from a rolling chair. Well, oh, do tell. It feels there's a story. Yes. Well, you know, um, don't trust a rolling chair. That's uh, that's what I've learned because you will fall on your ass and hurt you your play, arm. Are you playing on it? What are you doing? No, I was reaching for a pen. And then you and it tumbled felt off? innocent enough just reaching for my pen. And then all of a sudden I slipped out of the chair and fell down. Gravity took over and pushed <laughs> you? And pushed me off the chair. Bad chair. Bad, Bad chair. chair. Really? Uh -huh. Yeah. Ah. So don't trust a rolling. Don't trust a rolling chair. And did you fall and hurt? Did you did you hit hard? I I hit my my right hand and and wrist. Don't feel overly overly spectacular. Wow! Um, I may have scraped my ankle at some point. So How that, did you do that much? <laughs> I damage? you know what? I don't even know. I don't even want to like. It's just ridiculous that I. And how's the chair? Is the chair okay? The chair is perfectly all right. Oh, good, good, yes. good, yes. good. It's fine. You, so you should have, so the lesson learned is that you should have gotten out of said chair. Yes. Bent over and picked up the pen. Yes. I don't think I would have thought that. I would have probably picked up the pen too in my chair. So <laughs> thank you for, I, thank, I will not. I am the PSA on <laughs> rolling chairs and picking up pens. Do you need to hurt yourself again, Samantha? No, I'm trying not to, Lisa. Okay. I'm really, really trying not to. Okay. Right. You need to be more careful. Yes, I will. All right. That's funny, though. Glad you're not hurt. Too bad. Um, I, we do have an I Shake My Head from a member of the Friends of the Podcast. Yeah. So 
It's uh, I shake my head from Karen Sokol. She is shaking her head at construction zones that obviously aren't working on weekends and still have the 50 kilometer signs up in the 100 kilometer zone. Oh, I hear you, Karen. I feel you. I hate it too. <laughs> oh, ouch. All right. Take down the signs. Take down the signs for the weekend. You're not working. <laughs> All right. Put them back up on Monday. I think I agree. Right. Good one, Karen. That's a good one. That's a good one. Now, I think guys, a lot of people can, can, can relate. Yes. And you know what, guys? You also can get featured on the podcast. Give us your I Shake My Head. Tell us what you want us to talk about. Give us a topic. We'll mention you. Um, you can drop us a line through our Facebook or our Instagram, or you can send an email to ishakemyhead at gmail.com, and you will find yourself mentioned on the podcast. Yeah, you will. Yeah, yeah you, you will. will. Yeah, you will. Um, we just want to thank John Domingo. He is the best kept secret in podcasting. Best kept secret? He is. Like rice <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, didn't they used to say it was San Francisco? Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's the treat. It's a treat. San Francisco treat. treat. Yes. San Francisco treat. That's right. so 70s right there. Mm-hmm, totally. <laughs> right? But yeah, it's still uh, stuck. Uh-huh. Samantha. Another week in the books. Another week. Over and done. Down and out. Just like that. Up and over. No, that's Any, wrong too. <laughs> anything else? Anything else to add? No, I'm good. You tired? Ready? Ready for another uh, another restless sleep? Oh God, I hope to sleep, not have uh-huh. restlessness. Good. I or don't know. Uh, is that just you? <laughs> no, I know I'm sleeping good. Don't worry about me. Don't you don't don't you go losing sleep over me, Samantha? Oh, I won't, Lisa. <laughs> All right, Samantha, we better end this then. Yes. All right, friends of the podcast, have a great week, Samantha. Always a pleasure. That should be. Hmm. Who's a pretty girl? I'm a pretty girl. <laughs> <laughs>